Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the garage. We've got Gregorio with us. Hello, good evening. And we've got a bit of an exclusive for you today. We've got some new information on the 2024 range of Suzuki bikes. There's two new models for 2024, which are quite exciting. All new. Well, oh, wow, wow. All, all new models using equipment they've already got. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hot off the press. <laughs> So if that sounds of interest, grab yourself a quick cuppa and we'll bring you all the facts and figures from these new machines. Chopsy, roll it. I feel like Trevor McDonald. <laughs> so we go through these. First of all, let's start with the GSX 1000 GX. Now, Suzuki are calling this a bit of a crossover motorcycle. Yeah. So it's in between the GSX S1000 GT and, let's say, the V Strom 1050. So it's like. What can we compare it to, really? It's a bit like the BMW XR. And, and there's Kawasaki versus 1000. I think it's prob Kawasaki probably versus, in that yeah. category, isn't which, it? Which yep. 17-inch front wheel. I think it'd be really good because, you know, the UK roads are like, the potholes. Yeah, you know. exactly. It's, it's a take on the GSX S1000 uh, GT, which is the yes. Grand Tourer, but it's taller, longer travel suspension, better ground clearance. And there's some interesting technical yeah. info that we've got. I and I think a first, actually, for some of Suzuki. Yeah, the main thing really is it's got electronic suspension, yeah. hasn't it? So it has, yeah. She's fully suspended with Showa suspension. So it's similar to the Ducati Skyhook system, I yeah. think we can on, say. On, on the Multistrada, yeah. But we've got yeah. all the info. Let's dive into yeah. the... And it's not called Skyhook is. because obviously there's probably... That's Copyright claim. Co so it's, copyright. Not called, it's called a million different Suzuki... You know, Suzuki love their acronyms, don't they? The... Uh, Goggles. Was, Put the goggles, the goggles on. on. So without sounding like a technical geek, Go on then. it's got Suzuki's Advanced Electronic Suspension, S-A-E-S, -E using S -A -E -S. Showa uh, suspension, uh, tuned specifically for the GX, yeah. which is the new, the new model. Uh, but it's also got something called Suzuki Velocity Dependent Control, um, which is basically uh, adjust the yes. suspension and the characteristics depending on how fast you're going. So you end up with a high... Basically, it's stable at high speed, right. but it's plush at slower speeds. I think yeah, that's, yeah. that's the general point. So a little bit of a mouthful, but I think that's a general what idea. Is it S Suzuki vehicle, S S SVDC? Suzuki Velocity Dependent Control. Suzuki Velocity, Velocity Dependent exactly. Control. And that is integrated to the Suzuki Advanced Electronic Suspension, which is SAES. -E so it is a little bit of an acronym fest. It really, and there's also the <laughs> SDDC. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the Suzuki deceleration dampening control. So also when you're braking, yeah. it's it's firming up the front forks. Yeah. The rear suspension has automatic preload, so you can say you know, it will automatically adjust to keep the bike level, or you can say I've got a pillion on the back, or, you know, I've okay. got extra luggage. So, so that uh, that's not automatic then. That's, that's the rear. Some, though, the rear is automatic. The rear is automatic. Yeah. But or the, you can override it. I'm with you. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. the front adjusts damping, but there's no automatic okay. preload. So from a preload front. point of view, it will, if it sags, it will detect that, and then it will basically keep the bike level, keep the bike yeah. level which yeah. is perfect. So yeah. I mean. It sounds, it sounds, it sounds good, yeah, and I'm I mean, sure it'll work very and, and well. And for our UK pothole roads, yeah, I mean, this is the sort of bike you need, isn't it? Yeah. And I've, I've always said, like, well, don't buy adventure bikes, get get GT bikes, but they are a little bit more cramped than adventure bikes. So I, I yeah. understand why people go for adventure bikes, because you've got more leg room, especially if you're a bit bigger. No, They're like us, I, we're I, both 6'2". No, I agree, I agree. And I think longer travel suspension also, particularly if you live in a country where the roads aren't fantastic, that's also better. Yeah, no, it, exactly, it yeah. So you've got better, yeah. and you've got still got that 17-inch front wheel, so you've not got yeah. the 19s, which they've got on no. the V-Stroms. I mean, even the V-Strom, like the new RE800, you know, which is a road-based bike, that's still yeah. got a 19-inch front. This has 17-inch wheels. Yeah, so, so the handling's going to be nice, isn't it's gonna it? Be, it's going to handle beautifully, and I think it's going to be great just soaking up the bumps. And because it's a bit tall, you've got a bit more leg room, bar yeah. position, a bit yeah. more roomy. 
And do we know, does it come with luggage or luggage is no, an option? No, luggage is an option. So it's got okay. obviously panniers, yeah. a bit like the GT. So you have this, probably the same panniers may fit this. That's a bit of an assumption. I don't know for yeah, sure, may, but yeah. probably. Okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so you can put your luggage on it. it. It looks really good. It's got an adjustable screen, which is manual, yeah. but it seems to have all the things that you'd need, I think, for yeah. a good, a good all-round touring bike. Yeah good all-round bike really so yeah. I, I think this is going to slot in probably as suzuki's top now the gsxr has gone yeah or has it gone we don't know maybe there'll be another yeah. announcement yeah. don't think so yeah. but you know i think this is going to be their premium yeah. top of the tree premium bike the first bike ever as you said with yeah. electronic suspension on a suzuki so yeah I, i'm really quite excited about this and no, very good i'm going to hopefully be going to the launch the launch is in Portugal. Ooh. I've been invited. It's just whether I can go or not. So. Ooh, very nice. But no, it'll be quite good. So I could be blasting around some Portuguese roads. Very nice. Maybe there. Have a, what's the track in Portugal? What's the main track? Portimao. Portimao. <laughs> bit of Portimao included. <laughs> I'm going on anyway. Although there but... could be a better proposition for that launch event. Oh, yes. In further news. Our number uh, two bike. Our number, number two. Number two bike of Suzuki From news. Suzuki. And this does sound very, very it interesting. Does. What is, is it? It's a GSX-8 R, which is a new, essentially, sports bike, and it has got the parallel twin in from the GSX 8S and also the Suzuki V Strom 800 DE. Yeah. They're making um, good use of that platform. They are making a good use. So it's a 776cc parallel twin, 270 degree crank. Yeah. Um, I guess a direct competitor now to the new R7, which has got the MT07 yeah, engine in, yeah. Um, yeah. for those of you that know what that is. And, um, and it's like the RS660 as well. And, and it's a similar Aprilia, sort Aprilia, of because yeah. the thing yeah. with the R7, it's got very low bars, yeah. so it's quite a cramped bike. It's a proper sports bike position, whereas that's got your your bar. It's got clip-ons, but they're above the yokes, a bit like the RS660. Yeah, so, so it's more of a comfortable yeah. sort of it is. road, a street, yeah, yeah. sports bike. That's I mean, they're calling it a sports bike. Um, to be fair, from Suzuki, but I think you're right. I think yeah. it's going to be a sports bike with a slightly softer edge in the sense that it's a little bit more comfortable, yeah. which, which could is, be good. Which is what you want, really, isn't it? And I think given the sort of the way that the laws are going now, particularly in the UK and cameras everywhere and average cameras everywhere, it's probably actually really good fun yeah. on British roads. Yeah. You know, enough power to have a bit of, a bit of fun, but Absolutely. not too much power where it's just, you know, you've got to be doing silly speeds to yeah. enjoy yourself. So, so it's, that, it's, that it's almost going to be a bit like a GSX 8S, but with fairing. So you've yeah. got a bit of weather protection. Correct. But, you know, it's probably a little bit more over, a bit, bit more weight over the yeah. front than that. But it's going to bring that weather protection. And that's what's great mm. about sports bikes on the road, aren't yeah. they? No. I mean, they may be ridiculously fast, but having that fairing, it means you can sit at 70, 80, yeah. well, even 70, more. 70, well, 70, 70 we're 70, very sensible. 70. But on the motorway, without having that buffeting, yeah, and it's, exactly. it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. So that could be a really good bike. So I think so. And we're going to flash some images now, I hope. Well, they'll they'll, be, they'll be popping up throughout <sighs> the video. So yeah. anyway, going back to... Um, the new GX, the crossover. Yeah. Um, three colours available, is that right? Yeah, the, yeah. It's, the colours look quite good. So they do look good. You've got the normal sort of triton blue with the blue wheels, which I think the blue wheels look Yeah, like. and it's a little bit of grey or silver, isn't yeah, it? Which yeah. is like they have on the GSX exactly. S1000 and the GT. Yeah, there's like a black, blackish version. Yeah, charcoal oh, black. Hang on, let's have a look. There's actually the proper, we can tell you exactly what it's called, the proper colour. Yeah, go for the official colours. We're good, aren't we? So slick. So slick. It's, it's seamless. Seamless, yeah. this is. It's also got, interestingly enough as well, also the actual seat is slightly thicker than on the GT. Is it? So it's got a thicker, more comfortable seat as well. Just chucking that in there. So, of course, we've got no view on price because that's not available yet. But uh, our prediction is it's going to be... Reasonable. It's going to be reasonable. In normal it's Suzuki going to be, No, it's going to be, yeah. Suzuki, you know, they what produce... Got, what are you they, guessing? What are you guess? give, give me a price. Give me, give me a guess and we can see who gets the closest. I'm going to guess... It's going to be around the 13,000s. That would be my guess. Do you think it's cheap as that? No, I think it's Do you not think? With that electronic suspension. Really? I think it's going down. How much is, how much is it? It's only about 11 grand, is it? The GS6? Yeah. Eight? I think it's going to be 14 and a half. No. I think it's going to be 14 and a half. No. But that, that's my no. guess. I'm sorry you're getting duff info here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know how use readers do it. I don't know how they work with all these bits of paper. So very sorry about this. We did have an auto queue, but it seems to have failed us, so we've reverted to paper. <laughs> I've, I've used a whole rainforest here. <laughs> climate so change. What's climate change? So colours, we have the metallic Triton blue, the usual you know, new Suzuki colour, the nice. glass sparkle black, which is a black and sort of with, with grey accents on it. Nice. And there's also a pearl matte shadow green. 
And in the pictures, that doesn't really come out that well in, in, the, in the PDF, but the ones I'm putting on the screen, they've actually got the optional red calipers on it, and it, right. yeah, it looks nice it in that colour. Yeah. yeah, and it's the first. I've never seen that colour before on a Suzuki, so no, nice. I think that could be a popular one. Good. So finally... Pro probably there's no price differential. No, I think well, the colours... I, I think Suzuki, yeah, they're quite good, aren't they? they are, yeah. Basically, whatever colour you want. Yeah. They're normally... I mean, I can't verify that, but normally they're the same price, Yeah, they? they don't normally charge no. you extra for the no. colours, do they? No, they good. charge you extra for the red calipers, though. Okay. That's, that's about bad. another 700 yeah. quid. Is it really? So, yeah, it's a lot of money for the red calipers. Okay. It's expensive paint. Yeah, and if you go to the link below, Lamb Chops Rise, we can do a red spray can for about 20 quid. <laughs> 50 quid, come yeah, on. 50, sorry. A bit of red caliper paint is all we need, isn't it? <laughs> Drop them off. I do. I do a return delivery service. Yeah, you know, exactly. Get, exactly. Hundred quid labour included. I'll get labor. the calipers paid for you. No problem at all. So the full specs of the bike. So we've got 150 horsepower engine. We've got 106 newton meters of torque, and that's exactly the same, you know, as the GSXS GT and the standard one. 45.47 miles per gallon, which is probably very, maybe a little bit less because it's a bit taller potentially. Um, what, you think that's less than the GT version? Probably tiny Maybe. bit, because it's a little bit taller. I don't think there'll be much. Really, it's, 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 it's not going to be much. It'll be negligible, won't it? What about the other specs? So other specs, so... Um, curb seat height. Seat height, that is a good question. Um, the seat height is 33.3 inches or 845 millimetres. Okay, quite tall then. It is fairly tall. tall. Um, and the weight, wet weight, is 232 kgs or 511 pounds. So... I think that's pretty reasonable, that's, actually. That's reasonable, isn't it? It is. For that, yeah, for that yeah. sort of bike, with that sort of power, it's not going to feel... I think it's going to feel quite lively. Yeah. And with 17-inch front wheel, it's gonna I, think, I think it will handle. I think yeah. it will be And that suspension fine. as well. You know, exactly. Got, it's going to be a good bike, I, I think. I think it will be, yeah. I think and, that looks like an absolute corker yeah. from Suzuki for 24, that one. I don't it, know when it's out. don't know any details about no. pricing, when it's going to be available. But um, I think, but yeah. you know, my prediction is it's going to be one of those bikes just, like, really easy to live with. Yeah. yeah. Just smooth, powerful, refined... You know, Suzuki's notoriously have lovely gearboxes, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I think it'll just be a bike that you just jump on and just feel at home on naturally, straight away. I think it'll be good. I yeah. really do think it'll be good. Yeah. And I think it looks decent as well. I think they've done a good job I, with the I styling. I do, and actually, without wanting to diss Kawasaki, um, as a brand, they're fantastic, I think, but I'm not a big lover of the Versus. I think it looks a little bit yeah. of a, an acquired taste, yeah. doesn't it? Uh, looking at the pictures so far and the video clips yeah, of the yeah. um, the new GX, I think it looks uh, fairly handsome. I, I think it's more handsome looking than the GT, perhaps as well. So I think so. Yeah. The GT's got those weird, in my opinion, sort of like headlights that look like eyes that are quite yeah, low yeah. down. A bit, don't a bit they? like an R1 sort of thing, isn't it's it? A, it's, it's it's very, this has got it, the stacks. It it's a bit like the fly, yeah, isn't it? it yeah. It's a bit, yeah. yeah. And so I think it, it yeah. probably looks slightly more more conventional. I think, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. No, I would agree. Yeah. I would agree. So um, yeah. That's going to be a good one. Hopefully, I'll get to ride it in Portugal. Nice. Sounds good. So the GSX 8R, what are the specs going to be? I think all engine power, torque is exactly the same as the 8S. It's, it's the same chassis. It's the same engine. It is with, with some fairing on it, really. But I, I mean, want to. But I want to find the power figures. Let's have a look. Let's just go through the uh, paperwork. Oh, hold, hold the line, callers. Hold the line. We'll just go through here. So I have found. The specs of the engine which i think are going to be important so it is four stroke obviously 776 cc and it's 82.9 ps at eight and a half thousand rpm it's relatively low revs isn't it to be yeah, honest with you yeah. so that's about 80 horsepower i guess yeah and it's 78 newton meters of torque max torque at 6800 rpm so actually yeah. peak torque it's going to be it's a good engine that isn't it it's the beauty of that bike is, is yeah. the torque isn't it it's it's, ne it's not well the s isn't was never a rever was it you know it's no. almost like it's almost not point no point revving it it's all about drive isn't it yes yeah. so, it's mid-range drive yeah. you, and, you, and thr it, you thrash it and it just gets vibey and doesn't do much yeah, really. so you have to use the wave yeah. to talk a little bit but, but it, you know it's efficient it's, it's, a, it's well handling it, it's yeah. a, we both really liked it didn't we i we, did we both really liked the s and it's so frugal 67.23 mpgs yeah. is the official figure i wonder if that is better than the S because probably because you've got the fairing it's going to be a bit more slippery through the air isn't it so it probably think, is more more through well it certainly will be in the real world yeah in the real yeah. world it will be yeah, yeah. I think so will. I think that's another corker from Suzuki next year exactly um, no news on pricing yet and all of no. that but um, but yeah two brilliant bikes coming I think from Suzuki next year after there being a lull of yeah. Six or seven years with no new models from no, Suzuki exactly they, they, I can see the I can see the GSX 8R and the Yamaha R7 and the Aprilia they sound like a good yeah, race series, they don't do. they? They sound like it a good. Does. They, they yeah, do. Yeah, they sound does, like a great yeah. race series. Yeah, yeah. Does, yeah. You know, a relatively inexpensive way to get into racing. Yeah. 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 
because you know you're not going to be going through loads of tyres because yeah. they're not so powerful. I, I think there is. All, I think they're already qualified for like the Super Twins yeah. series. Yeah. So yeah, I think rather than going in like six fifties, like yeah, like, exactly. like Alex's, you know, yeah. that, that would be a cheap way of getting. It's going to be. Yeah, I think it's going to be. And the that future. also sort of brings out a lot of sort of race and upgrade sort of path, doesn't it? For like engine upgrades, you know. Exactly. So yeah, yeah. I think that's going to be a good little bike and I think it's pretty decent looking as well. Yeah, have so. we got any view on colours of the GSX-8R? Oh, that's a good question. Let's have a look at some colours. Blue, Suzuki blue, Suzuki predictably blue. has to be done, doesn't <laughs> yeah. it? Which I haven't got a problem with, I quite like Suzuki blue, but yeah, you yeah. might want to go for something a little bit different. Maybe it's race, who can find it first? I'm on a laptop, you're on the, on the paperwork. It's got Nissan brake calibers. I found, found it. it. I found oh, it. here we go. Colours. So we've oh. got the metallic Triton blue. Pretty We've blue. got a metallic matte sword silver, which Good. is quite nice. nice. And we've also got a black option, which they're calling metallic matte black. Number two. <laughs> no. So, but that silver not. looks good, doesn't it? Silver with the yeah, red does. graphics on it. Has it got red wheels? The silver one. As well? Yeah, it's got red yeah. wheels on yeah, the silver. Nice. Yeah, and it's like a on the. It's got like a, a silver wheel on on the Triton blue one. Yeah. So that's interesting. Well, they haven't gone the full blue wheels. Yeah. I might have preferred the blue wheels actually. No, fair enough. I would, I would imagine first, as well. Yeah. I don't know, but do they do an A2 version of this? Do we think? Or do it think? is A2able. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. You can get an A2. So yeah. it, it will be A2 compatible, which would be quite a nice first A2 bike. That wouldn't absolutely it? fantastic. Okay, Straight yeah. into one of those A2. Yeah. Pass your test. Get it de-restricted. Yeah, that is that is a good yeah. point. Yeah, that would be good. And actually, I've, I've not ridden the R7, the new R7, the twin. No. I've ridden uh, it once. Uh, you ridden it once, and you've ridden once. the RS660 as well, haven't you? I have, yeah. Which you also enjoyed a lot, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, that's a good bike. It's so good. I think I do think it's going to be a good bike, and I'd love to have a try. I can actually. see a whole new comparison coming on already. I think it's got to be <laughs> a done, three-way it? comparison. Game on. Game on. But if a three-way, yeah, we like exactly. a three-way. And I <laughs> and I'd imagine on closed roads somewhere nice and private with these twin engines with yeah, the grunt. I bet yeah. they're quite nice yeah. to. Uh, <laughs> to loft up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Get that front wheel loft would be good. We'll do that next year. Three-way comparison yeah. with those new. Well, and what's, what's and of course the Kawasaki, the four hundred ZXR four hundred ZXR four hundred the four cylinder screamer. That'd be yeah. quite a good comparison with these yeah. parallel twins, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, no, Just, definitely. So yeah, that coming next year without a doubt a shootout yeah. with these new four yeah. new sport I, middleweight sports on track? bikes. Wow, we, we could we could hope. <laughs> That'd be nice, wouldn't it? That would be nice. If no limits want to sponsor the video, maybe we could do a track shoot we'll and a road we'll shoot. We'll enjoy that. That'd be good. That'd be brilliant. So we enjoyed the video. I've actually got another exclusive video dropping a bit later on today. Mm. So there's another exclusive on its way a bit later on from another manufacturer. But you're. And you mean exclusive because I'm in it, or you mean? Oh yeah, because Greg's in it. Oh yeah, everyone else knows about it. It's just because Greg doesn't know about it. So <laughs> <laughs> that's dropping this evening-ish, mid-afternoon. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Very good. And we've got another exclusive. So thanks for watching, as always, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Welcome back to the channel. We've Scott, got. You've got a KTM hat on.